mature foreigners, and young Filipinas. Let's talk about three distinct types of young girls in Philippines who want to date an older, mature, foreign man. I'm Max. Welcome to idateadvice.com. Philippines is home to many 18- and 19-year-old Filipinas who are in relationships with foreign men as old as you can imagine. So why is that? Okay, there are many answers, and we should not trivialize all Filipinas as being the same. Instead, we'll examine the three most common personality types of barely legal Filipinas who date mature foreign men. Barely legal means 18 and up. So the first kind we're going to discuss is ambitious. She's the smart young girl who speaks English extremely well, and she's very charming. When you ask her for the one word that best describes her, she will answer ambitious. She wants an education, but there's always a financial problem. She wants to be a property owner, but she could not even qualify for a mortgage. She wants to travel, doesn't even own a passport. It's a dangerous game when you play with this sort of Filipina. She may leave you when she has what she wants. Or she may love you passionately for helping her reach her ambitions. When it works, she will probably want a family. She's young after all. Many mature foreign men have great relationships with this variety of Filipina. Next category of Filipina youth who date older, older foreigners is, I'm going to use the word, clueless. These girls are the opposite of the ambitious type. They have minimal education and a menial job, if they even have a job at all. They are looking for the white knight to come save them from being a maid for the rest of their lives. Perhaps she has a Filipino boyfriend, but she's looking for the better life, which can be found with a foreign man. This kind of girl does not know what she wants. She'll often take her cue from the man she chooses to marry. Age is not important to this kind of girl. Security is. She can be a great wife, a fantastic wife, to the older, mature foreign man who wants to love her and support her. When you, the foreign man, date a clueless girl, you do need to be aware of possible baggage. You know, we, we, when we say clueless, we could mean that she had a baby that her mom is raising for her. That's very common. She could have a previous boyfriend who's not really gone. She just wishes he would go away. This sort of girl is non-confrontational. Now, that makes for a peaceful marriage, but it does mean she'll probably have some history that you will have to deal with. So that's two categories. Let's look at the third group, social climbers. These are young Filipinas who are encouraged by their families to marry a foreign man. There's a feeling of higher class among Filipino families who have a foreign man in the clan. The daughters in these families are raised from childhood to save themselves for a mature foreign man. There's a fantasy that the foreigner will provide a better life for the girl and help the family when there are financial problems. This type of Philippine family girl will make a good wife so long as the foreign man realizes that her family will always come first. Get involved with her family, earn their respect, learn to help without becoming an ATM machine. Be very careful, don't become their banker. Anyway, you may end up being the family patriarch when it works. This type of Philippine wife will never leave you so long as her family likes and respects you. The only real negative here is that you will probably be taking on a leadership role and you must be financially capable of backing that up. So these are the three most common categories of young Filipina seeking an older, mature foreign man. But it's not an all-encompassing list. Each girl is an individual, so treat her as such and enjoy the relationship. That's all for today. Look for more of our informative videos on idateadvice.com. Hello and welcome to iDateAdvice.com. Today we'll talk about cities in the Philippines where you should go to find Filipinos who want to date a foreign man. So which are the best and worst cities?